so welcome back guys so in today's class we are going to study about the multiplication of two bit binary numbers this is the lab program one according to a syllabus so here what we are going to do here we are going to multiply two 16 bit binary numbers so here is the code of multiplying two 16 bit binary numbers so our code starts from area reset code read only what this area area is what this area will going to do so area is assembler directive so there should be a memory in order to store the program so hence in this we have a two kinds of memory one is program memory and a data memory and there should be one who will going to decide in where in where the program has to be stored so either in program memory or in data memory so that will be done by this area so area will going to decide to where exactly the program will be loaded so this reset can be replaced by a program also you can write it a program name also so code read only so in this code we can read we can read the program so whereas if you want to modify this code if you want to modify or anything else then we can change it the code to a data and read only can be changed in a read write so has we know in order to start my program there should be an entry and the second line followed by load registers so in load r1 comma n1 so what this load registers will going to do register will going to do so the load register will going to load the value of n1 into my r1 so here the value of n1 is 5 so n1 dcw5 what this dcw is dcw is an half word here we are multiplying only a two 16 bit binary numbers so dcw is an half word so if it is of dcd it, it dcd is a double so if it is dcd it's of byte so here we are using half word w and the value of n1 is 5 so it will going to load the n1 value of 5 to my r1 so it will going to load the value pi to my r1 so in length in second line there is a load register r2 comma n2 so this load register will going to load the value of n2 my r2 what the value of my n2 so the value of n2 my n2 is my phi so this load register will going to load the value of phi to r2 so in third line it will going to multiply r3 comma r1 comma r2 so the r1 value will be 5 and r2 value will be 5 it will going to multiply the r1 and r2 value and it will going to load this value into my r3 so that's what the multiplication operation is so r1 value is 5 r2 value is 5 5 into 5 it's 25 25 will be stored in my r3 so next load register or not comma product so what this line will going to do it will going to load the product so the product means whatever the output we have got here product to my r not so here the product dcd dcd as i said dcd is double right it will going to load the address of the product into my r not so at the time of execution i'm going to show what the value of r not will be so next it will going to store the value whatever the value which will be which we will going to get by multiplying r1 and r2 will be stored in my r3 so that r3 will be stored in the address of r not so this bracket indicates the address the address of or not then we're going to stop the program so now what are you going to do we're going to execute so here yeah, now the registers r1 and r2 and r3 will be will be having the capability to store 32 bit but here we will going to use just a 32 bit sorry 16 bit so now project we're going to translate my project and now we're going to build my project so next there is zero errors and zero warnings now i'm going to build my product so we're building my product okay so this is my memory so memory in my starting address is 0x4 followed by seven zeros so now what i'm going to do first step is i will going to load the value of n1 to my r1 so that is what i have done so, so that is what it is doing so r1 value is loaded to 5 so at the second step what it will going to do it will going to load the value of n2 to r2 so r2 value is 5 and it will going to load it to r2 and 
that the next step, what it will going to do, it will going to multiply R1 and R2, and it will be stored in R3. So multiplying R1 and R2 will going to give 25. So 25, if you keep it in hexadecimal form, it will be 19. See, 25 will be divided by 16, 16 ones are 16, and the remainder will be 9, which will be a 19. So 19 will be the answer, which will be stored in my R3. So next, what it is showing, load R0, comma product. So product, see here, see my program. So product, product BCD 0x followed 4 followed by 7 zeros. The product, the address is 0x 4 followed by 7 zeros will be the product address will be stored in my R0. See, initially my R0 is 0, 0. So in the next step, this will going to become 0x 4 followed by 7 zeros. That's what this load instance is loading off. It is, it is loading the address of this product to my R0. So next, see here, the next what you are going to do, it will going to store the value of R3 into my R0. So R0 address is 0x followed by 4, 0, 0. So this is the address, 4 followed by 7 zeros. So here it will going to store the value of R3. Now we are going to see how it will going to store. See, the address has been storing 19 followed by 0, 0, 0, 0. So the value of R3 will be now stored in the address R0. So that is what the first program 16-bit binary number is of. So hope you guys have understood. So we're going to meet in next session. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to show how to multiply the other numbers. Okay, so I'm going to change my value to 250 or 255 into 255. Okay. Again, I'm going to debug. So for debugging, I need to save my program and once again, I need to translate my program and I need to build my program. Now I am going to, now I will be debugging my program. Okay. Okay. So, it, so N1 value is 255. So 255, if you convert 255 uh, into an hexadecimal bar form, it will be a FF, double F. So next. Again, 255 is FF, and if you multiply to FF, uh, 255 into 255, you're going to get FE01. So in hexadecimal form, FE01, so that will be stored in the address 4 followed by 7 zeros. Now my address will go into, R0 will go into become 0x400 by using this from this line. So next I'm going to store the value of R3 in my R0. So initially my R0 is 0, 0. So now I'm going to store the value in 0, 1, FE, 0, 1, FE, where it will going to use the little Indian concept. So the little Indian, I have explained in core of embedded system. So where the least significant, the smaller bit will be stored for followed by the bigger bits. So in previous case, it was 19 followed by 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So here the 19 was the lower bit hence it uses the concept of little indian so i hope you guys have cleared thank you guys we're going to meet you in next class